Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss a very important topic which is called as permutation and combination. The reason why I'm making this specific video guys, because again, many people have confusion with respect to this particular topic. This can be also a part of statistics. And apart from that, this will also be very, very important for people who are in their final year, probably attending campus interviews and all, because, uh, you know, the first round aptitude may involve permutation and combinations also right so let's go ahead go ahead and proceed uh, and here i'm just going to take very very simple examples to make you understand so guys uh, before i go ahead what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to disable my video so that uh, you do not get distracted and i'll try to explain the entire thing away so please make sure that you watch this video till the end so let me just disable my video i hope uh, everybody uh, please focus on this particular board and make sure that you watch this video till the end so let's understand about permutation and combination now just imagine guys uh, probably uh, let's take an example there is this specific house you know now in this house this is a film star house i'll just talk about a film star house okay and inside this house you have actors like uh, uh, brad pitt okay you have brad pitt you have rithik okay you have uh, amitabh bachchan I hope everybody knows about this brand, <laughs> this great, great people, you know, so I'll, let me write it properly. So first hero that you have is Brad Pitt. Then second, you have Rithik. Then you have Amitabh Bachchan, right? Probably you have some more heroes like uh, Jim Carrey. So these are some of my favorite actors, you know, so Jim Carrey. And uh, let's consider that you also have uh, Dwayne Johnson. I'll just say it as Rock. I hope everybody knows it. So suppose I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five people. Again, let's add one more hero. Uh, probably anything we can actually take. Let's let's take our Indian movies hero. Uh, we have uh, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay, Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. So these are some of the popular actors. Okay. Now uh, I will give a task to a person. Like I'll I'll give him a book and say him that once you enter the house, whichever is the first three actors, please note down their name. Okay. Like this note down their name uh, or probably uh, you just have to make a record of it okay now when this particular task is actually given suppose uh, the person enters into the house okay o over here you know that there are six actors if i talk about this this is one two three four five six then obviously the first option when he's actually see seeing any of the actor right obviously there will be around six options initially right in the second record when he's actually noting down the second record then probably there will be five options and last there will be around four options right now these are the possible set of options that we may probably have when they actually want to uh, see uh, suppose if he's trying to record the actor that he sees right now these are all the possible options that he may have now when i say about possible options i'm also talking about the order i'll talk about this here this i'll say this order matters over here okay now let's compute the total uh, of this like what are the possible options 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 it is nothing but 120 options okay now this basically means that suppose let's consider that probably i want to record this in the initial time when i'm not selecting anyone i may have six possible options then five possible options, then four possible options this entirely is called as permutation you know so i'm basically noting down all the possibilities all the possibilities of selecting or seeing a specific actor from this particular house and over here the order matters why i'll tell you guys suppose if i see the first uh first hero as rock and then probably i'll see Sal uh, sharuk or let, let me just write some hollywood heroes okay probably i'll write jim carrey and then i'll write brad pitt okay so this may be one combination the next combination can also be jim rock brad right so i may have multiple combination like this and remember over here the order will not matter now when i say order will not matter that basically means i have taken the same people right rock jim brad but here i've just changed the order right but i have to count this as separate permutations right so like this we will be using all the possible combination and probably after having all the possible combination we may have this many number of options with respect to this particular uh, actor and this entirely is called as permutations okay 
permutations now very very simple guys these are the possible options because i'll make you understand what is the exact difference between permutation and combination two okay now if i really want to define this permutation formula i can basically write it as so permutation is usually given as n p r and this is basically given as n factorial divided by n minus r factorial now what is this n n is nothing but the total number of factors that were present so over there it was six so i will write six factorial divided by n minus r what is r over here r basically means how many number of records i had right probably three and i have to take all the possible combination so here i will basically write very very simple six minus three factorial right now i can basically write six multiplied by four multiplied by three factorial and this will be actually three factorial when i cancel this right three factorial three factorial is gone the total number that i'm going to get 120 and that is the same output we got over here right with respect to the all the possible combination so i hope you have got an idea about permutation it's like selecting all the possible options and over there the order is uh, every order every order is basically treated as a separate count now, when I say about order, suppose I take Rock, Jim and Brad, the same people can be, you know, uh, shifted here and there. And probably that can also be taken as an another option. OK, now this was with respect to permutation. I hope everybody has got this specific idea. Now let's understand about combination. And we'll also understand about the formula. Now in combination, as the number, as the, sorry, as the name says combination. OK, here the order does not matter. OK. Now, when I say add order does not matter. See, when I say about combination in this three cases, suppose I am selecting rock, probably I'm selecting Jim and probably I'm selecting uh, Brad Pitt. Okay. So this may be one combination. Okay. One combination. They now, if I take the same people and just shift them in different orders, now probably if I take them Jim or rock or Brad in this particular scenario, this will be a different permutation, but this cannot be a different combination because understand we are taking the same number of people, you know, same, same people, uh, which where I have actually combined them together. You know, this is a unique combination and over here, even though I don't, I change the specific order. Okay. It won't matter. We cannot take this as our second combination. This will be one combination only, right? So with respect to this, all people, you know, However, you move the position or shuffle the position, this will be treated as one combination, right? This is a very important thing to understand. Now, based on this, the formula of combination basically changes something like this. Okay, I can basically write the combination formula as NCR divided by N factorial, R factorial and N minus R factorial. Here, obviously, N, we know it's six factorial. R factorial is nothing but three because we have three different position. And then n minus three is nothing but six minus three factorial. Now, if I try to make this, it is nothing but three factorial multiplied by three factorial. Okay. And if I do this specific calculation, it will be nothing but six multiplied by four multiplied by three factorial divided by three into two into one multiplied by three factorial. This three factorial and three factorial will get canceled. And here I will rewriting two ones are three, three. So the total unique combination will be 20 right so based on permutation for the same problem statement we saw where the order matter the our answer was 120 and obviously combination will be less than permutation because here the order does not matter because once the order is taken with the name same element or same people if you try to again shuffle this position this will not be treated as a second combination so here i have actually got a 20. So I hope you have understood this video guys. This is very, very much important to understand the basic difference. And based on that, you will be able to understand and remember this particular formula also, right? It's very, very simple formula NPR. This is for permutation n factorial divided by n minus R factorial. And this is basically combination NCR, which is equal to n factorial divided by R factorial multiplied by n minus R factorial. So because of this here, you will definitely say that permutation will be sorry combination will be less than permutation okay and obviously in permutation order matters and in combination order does not matter so these are the important things that you really need to remember and definitely by just understanding this much uh, you will be able to solve any kind of problems okay so this was uh, the video regarding permutation and combination i hope you liked it 
if you liked it please do make sure that you subscribe the channel press the bell notification icon it will motivate me to upload more and more videos i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one dog bye bye